Hello, air signs, and welcome. Uh, apologies, uh, these videos didn't get done on time. Um, I've decided that they will come up at different times of the week um, because it just gets too hectic to get them done at the end of the week. So here we go, air signs. Um, this is air signs in general, or pre-shuffled, a message in general to all air signs. Then we've got Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Let me just check. Yeah, I've got three cards each. Okay, so let's get started with that. We'll just move um, Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra out the way. So good luck, air signs. I will not be reading cards upside down unless I really think like something like um, the Three of Swords uh, upside down would be prominent. Um, the tower upside down um, certain things if they're upside down I'll read them but in general terms I won't be reading upside down cards okay if you read cards yourself you can uh, interpret it your own way okay so the general messages for air signs this week um, over the past you may have been deluding yourself about a romantic involvement um, hang on a sec Okay, hopefully that doesn't uh, bother the reading. <laughs> Something just came up in the computer. Yeah, so in the past you may have deluded yourself about a particular relationship. You may have um, thought that somebody really, really wanted to be in the picture or that a certain situation was something that it wasn't. Uh, you may have been giving out all of your love and affection or attention to a particular person or job or whatever it may be um, and it just some of it just didn't seem right um, there may be somebody else that's fantasizing about you and your lifestyle um, the other thing I'm seeing is that you've been looking at your choices so you might have been looking at what people you want in your life now uh, what job you want where do you want to live um, do you want to keep doing certain things? Do you want to still still go on the same career path? Do you want to do a big switch? So I think a lot of the air signs have been going through this um, assessment of what they want um, and starting to realise what people are good for them, what people are bad for them, what kind of actions they should take. Um, but I do feel some of you might be in flights of fantasy. Uh, you might be thinking something is what it isn't. Uh, then in the middle there, we got that Queen of Wands. Now, forget about it being male or female. I think that this might be where a time for looking after yourself. This might be going on a diet. It might be cutting out those bad things that you shouldn't do, those bad habits. It might also be a time to get some more exercise in your life. Uh, for others, it could be a very busy period coming up where you've made your choices over here um, and you're sitting on your throne ready to go. You're... Um, it could be very desirable at this time as well, um, air signs. Uh, and then here we've got this uh, emperor. Now, if you look at the way the images are, the emperor's looking at this queen sitting here. And like I said, she could be very attractive to people. She could be very flirty as well. Um, so there might be a time of flirtation. As long as it's kept harmless, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, and then over here we've got this emperor. I feel that either this is the air signs themselves taking back their power, taking charge, making the rules. Uh, for others, this could be, like I said, job choices, could be career path changes. Uh, if you're still in school, this could be where you're deciding on which college to go to or which subjects to do. Uh, this is where you want to have a bit of fun, uh, not so much work to do. Um, and then over here, this would be like the head teacher or the professor or the boss or the manager of the company. Just be careful. Um, that you are doing the right thing when you're at work or at school or whatever because this could be where you're a little bit too flirty or having a little bit too much fun and the boss is watching. So this could be where the boss is watching um, your actions. What's going to happen I don't know um, because this is just a quick mini reading for the air signs just to touch base with things. So for some I think you might be dealing with a relationship thing. If it's a relationship someone's got all the power over you um, and your flirtation and stuff like that uh, it's going to be the way they call the shots 
for others. If this is about a job, like I said, or schooling, um, filter through what your choices are. You might have been deluding yourself about a relationship or um, a, something you were going to do. It might just not be possible at this moment. Uh, this is showing success of some kind in business or schooling, though. Anyway, that's what we've got in general for um, the air signs. We'll just place them over there so that we don't forget what they are. Um, so instead of doing the three piles, this time I already shuffled them all. Um, and this, this three cards here is for Aquarius. Uh, this top one is bottom of the deck and then the other two. So Aquarius gets... All right, like I said, I don't want to really read um, thing. Now, that can be success and overcoming difficulties and riding off into victory. It was upside down, so it might be a short-lived victory. It might be where something you thought finally was back on track, um, something was going well, and it just doesn't last. It, it's sort of wishy-washy. It's up and down here at Aquarius. Um, there's some news coming in. Now, some of you might have um, been searching for a new job. Um, Aquarius, some of you might have been searching for a new place to live, um, some sort of newness here. If, if I, like I said, you're going to school, uh, you might have been confused as to which courses to do, which college to go to, should I go overseas, should I stay here, should I go into state. So some sort of decisions been trying to be made. You feel very blinded by it all, you just don't know which way to go. Um, you, you've got your feet solidly on the ground. There's been a lot of emotions going on. We've got a lot of turbulence and water in the background and there may have been emotional drama. If this is about a relationship, it can be an emotional drama going on in a friendship, a relationship. I do feel this is a working energy. Um, there's something to do with someone very young. Um, it could be to do with children and school as well. But yeah, I feel the news you've been waiting on will come. If it's a medical matter, this being upside down, it, it sometimes could mean that you made a choice with something, you were blinded, you weren't given all the information, um, and it hasn't turned out so well. Um, it's upside down here. You thought it would be victorious or whatever it was, um, and it's just not sort of going the way you thought, Aquarius. Um, but there could be some news coming in. Um, now, I really don't feel this has anything to do with romance or anything this reading today for Aquarius. I think this is more to do with job and direction and what to do. Um, and like I said, it could be medical and this would be a new fresh set of eyes, like a new doctor, new testing, all of that. Um, you are very confused with your choices right now. If it was about a relationship, I'd have to say that the, the love thing's just not showing, it's not presenting itself. So what I'll do now is look for my other deck of cards. There they are. Just think about a yes or a no question you might have, Aquarius. That just fell out. So some of you might be deciding about something to do about a child that's um, a boy, a male child. Others might be pregnant right now with a baby boy or giving birth because uh, it just fell out like that. Uh, it, that also can be time to apologize to somebody as well, male or female, not sure. Maybe something that was childish, maybe something that was selfish and childish with that Knight of Pentacles to me can be somebody that needs to grow up. Um, so you might need to apologise or somebody might need to apologise to you. So just think about a yes or no question you might have, Aquarius. Okay. Nothing's going to jump out again. So here we go. Let's get your yes or no. Okay, I'm going to give that a no because we got one, two, three that are no, four, and that was upside down. So I'm going to give it a no, five cards. Um, this looks like a money decision. Looks like where do you want to go? Um, some of you might be retiring. Some of you might be resigning. Um, some of you with that upside down might, and especially with this emperor energy over here, um, yeah, the emperor is like the boss. So just be careful of what's going on when you're at work, um, Aquarius. Uh, now, if we take the three cards as a general atmosphere, this one would be belonging to Aquarius. So you may have been deluding yourself about a particular situation, or you may be really confused about which way to go with your career path, uh, your schooling, decisions that you need to make. I feel like either someone's deluded you, or you've deluding yourself about a situation. 
um, especially with this sitting here and then this was upside down. So it's almost like you went, yeehaw, I won, it's mine, whatever. Um, and then it wasn't, you know, it was just short lived. And it might be the energies that someone's giving you at this time, Aquarius. Um, but yeah, this can be where you're stressed out when you're at home. There may be a financial issue where money's just sort of, you want to make a change, but the money will drop. Um, and also there may be a decision around a child or a family member. Like I said, it may be a medical thing where you're confused as to what to do next. Um, something that was working doesn't work anymore. Or you may have been told the wrong information about that, how successful something might be. Um, so we'll just put that Seven of Cups energy back up there. So I'm going to give it a no there um, for you, Aquarius. Um, the forced changes might be something you need to do. You might need to finally make a decision on something because when I see the Two of Swords and then I see that, I feel that someone's saying, let's move, let's go and work here, let's go and live there, let's go overseas. I feel that you or the other person that's saying this then the opposite is happening with the other person. They're like, no, I don't want to move or I don't want to change my job. Or, um, But I always feel that sevens are movement, no matter what the movement is, that you need to do it when I see it like that. So some of you might be forced into some sort of change of job, change of um, relationships, um, a friendship that you thought was real or some sort of thing, it looks like it doesn't serve a purpose anymore, Aquarius. It looks like it's um, something that needs to be gone. All right, so let's just get messages to finish this off for Aquarius. What's going down for Aquarius this week? Some of you may have some financial decisions you need to make. It might be about buying property, selling property, moving, as I said. Uh, there's movement cards there. They are very restricted. You might need to put the plan to move off for a little bit. Um, and there may be a sickness around because this can be surgery or procedure. Something that you thought was successful or whatever with your health, uh, it's just not working anymore. And remember the middle card was about uh, paying attention to your health at this time and, you know, eating right or exercising or something. I just feel like there was some sort of union um, and you've been waiting on this news to come in. It, it, this was sitting underneath the deck, so it's like you're still waiting, you're waiting for something to change, waiting for something to come in, and it just seems to be stagnating. Okay, so your two messages today, we've got the dragonfly. So the dragonfly is telling you to be lighthearted, but also something will be found out and something will be brought to light and you will need to adapt to the change. So maybe there's been some sort of gossip uh, possibly about work or about a, th a third party, a friendship, um, some sort of gossips coming out here, um, Aquarius. Um, also, you've got sudden changes, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. So it looks like um, whatever this decision is, or it could be a secret or something that you've been keeping, uh, it looks like it's about to come out, um, Aquarius. Someone's going to find something out. Anyway, that's what we got for Aquarius. Gemini. Uh, okay, so like what I said to Aquarius, uh, these were all pre-shuffled ready for Gemini. This was from the bottom of the deck. Um, uh, no, sorry, this was from the bottom of the deck, so we'll turn that over. Um, and these two. All right, so this could be going against your traditional values, Gemini, something you always believed in, something you always wanted. It is upside down. I wasn't going to read upside down cards today, only particular ones, so we will turn it around. Uh, this could be about a long-term commitment that you have with someone, a long-term commitment with a job. I'm not really seeing anything romantic, but it could be about a marriage. Um, you need to trust in your intuition. You're being told something, you know, do this, don't do that. Talk to this person, don't talk to that person. So your intuition is telling you it's probably spot on. Um, as for the Hierophant coming up, up upside down, I just feel like um, the way you want to do things might not be the way things need to be. Um, also, you might be confronted with someone being... Um, uh, I can't even think of the word. Uh, someone being stubborn here and someone putting walls up with you. Or you might be doing this yourself. Um, but yeah, I just feel like you're going down a path over here 
where you feel like you're hitting a brick wall when I see the nine of wands um, your intuition might be also where someone's being defensive that's the word um, it finally come to me sorry I'm just waking up this morning um, yeah someone is defensive here or you're being defensive a lot of work might be coming your way as well you might have made some inquiries that might be against the grain of what you really want to do but you went for it anyway you need to trust in your gut on um, this one um, now the Gemini card would be the middle card up here in the general reading you might be getting into a fitness regime here, Gemini. You might be all about yourself. You might also be very attractive to the opposite sex or the same sex, whatever you're into, whatever floats your boat. Um, so they could be attractive at this time. Also, you could be very, very busy at this time. Okay, so Gemini, let's have a quick look for a yes and no. Just ask a question you might want to know. So no, nothing's going to jump. Okay, they're sticking. So yes or no for Gemini. Okay, we're going to give that one a yes. Uh, this might be about a work decision, movement decision, moving on to something new. Uh, we've got two females and one male here in uh, the thing. This might be why the traditional values was upside down. So it's a sort of non-traditional kind of relationship you might be in. It could be a business thing as well. Some news or invitations coming in that you've been waiting for. But we've got a, a yes, 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 yes. We got a maybe with that being upside down. And then we got two no. Um, but this one, as I said, can just represent a lot of hard work and, you know, um, learning something new. Uh, so we're going to give Gemini a yes there. Some of you are all what you've been planning, Gemini, about where you want to go, what job you want to do, where you want to live, if you want to travel. Um, I'm not really seeing travel. I'm seeing more like someone that's making plans to settle down for a little bit. Um, but yeah, you could be getting a job where it's run by females. Um, these people are not related what I'm seeing here this is all three separate energies here there may be a childlike type thing here this could be a lot of study and this could be um, like getting together in a group of people learning something new uh, there'll be some things that you fit in as far as jobs or study goes um, there'll be other things that just don't feel right at the moment and somebody might be a bit um, stubborn or something around you okay so let's just finish off with a couple of messages for Gemini messages for Gemini Gemini you have the karmic relationship coming out fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you I feel this is related to this there's going to be some stuff you got to let go of somebody's trying to trigger you it can be the reverse it can be you doing this to somebody else um, and also you get, um, you're looking over the past photos, you're missing somebody, you're getting very nostalgic at this time, Gemini. It's time to make new memories, either with somebody from your past or with somebody new. Um, you may have two females in your life. One is like a family, um, everybody's friend, um, both of them, everybody's friend. This one would be more out there, more business minded and everything, um, this one would be attractive to a lot of people, very fun, loving, having a good time. Um, I do wonder whether this one's in the past and there's some romantic thing here, Gemini. Uh, this one might be someone else that's sort of tagging along following you. Um, you haven't come out in your own reading, by the way. You've got um, air, fire and earth signs have come out. I'm um, sorry, uh, water, earth and fire signs have come out in your reading today. Anyway, that's what we've got for Gemini. Okay, so this is Libra. Libra, um, this was bottom of the deck, all pre-shuffled. And these are the other two things going on for you. Now, we won't read that. Um, now, that card can be about going overseas, looking at your plans and everything. It's upside down at the moment. So there's delays. Things aren't sort of going the way they want. You might be postponing some big holiday or big job change or something like that. Um, I do see for Libra, there might be a lot of hard work, but it looks like it's finally coming to its end phase. 
Um, there may have been some stresses in your life. There may have been medical issues in your life. It just looks like it's all built up. It's all been too much and your back's about to break with all of this and you're like, I need help here. Um, underneath your cards was the lover. Um, we've got the Knight of Cups here. Now, the Page of Cups can be a fleeting romance on a weekend. Um, it can be a bit of a crush. Um, this is something more substantial. So either you or somebody else, possibly a water sign, um, wants to go into that next journey, wants to um, go into something in love with you. Uh, you also have water sign here and you have um, fire sign here as well. Some of you might be con contemplating about having a baby. Um, some of you might be thinking about traveling. I, I just think that something is getting an overload here for Libra at the moment. This person might be coming in to rescue. They might be coming in, male or female, they might be coming in to hold your hand and help you through. Um, but yeah, I think that the travel plan's coming out upside down. It can also be an offer from somebody that you might need to refuse. Excuse me, I just needed a drink. Um, yeah, you might get a job offer or extra duties at work or school. Um, I just feel like you'll be taking on too much. You won't be able to do it. Or someone might ask you, can you help out and come and live at my place for the next couple of weeks and sort something out? Um, you might have to say no at this time because it looks like an overload. So let's just see if we get a yes and no for Libra. Just think about um, a yes or no question you might have in your mind, Libra. Okay, that obviously wants to come out for you. Yes or no for Libra. Okay. All red. I think I don't need to tell Libra what the answer is. Uh, we've got yes, 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 yes. Um, you've got a new friendship coming in. Be careful who certain people are, uh, just because this is upside down. For others, this could be about baby boys, baby girls, um, fertility, um, but there's definitely a new friendship coming through from new responsibilities. It could be to do with children as well. You might be looking after someone's child or you might be looking after your own children or sorting something out with school. Um, you've got a new opportunity coming like i said be careful not to overload yourself don't take off on too much that you can't do um, there's nothing worse than committing yourself to something and then you can't do it because uh, you get overloaded um, that just flopped out for you soulmates like i said someone's offering something here a soul connection is coming if you're already in one it could be going to a new level um, partnerships, agreements, and a soul contract being made. So woohoo, um, Libra, if you're single out there and you've been looking for love, it looks like a friendship will start. You'll be doing something together. You might work together. You might travel together. You might be in the same clubs or something. Um, and it might lead to a commitment here. You might also be getting an invitation, something overseas, but I just feel with that being upside down and this heavy load here, I just feel that it's something you can't uh, commit to at this time, but you will eventually commit to something. Uh, in business, it's not that much money, but it may be some sort of bonus thing, and then you get a payout over here. So it starts off as not much money, and then boom, you've suddenly got a lot of money, but you've also got a lot of work going along with it. Um, in your last message card for today, the, I like that that soulmate card spat out like that because you really needed to hear that. And we've got the wedding rings. Like I said, you might be invited to something. Someone might invite you interstate or overseas and because of other reasons, um, whatever, you can't make it at this time. Don't overstress yourself about it. There'll be always something else to do with all this red energy here. Um, we've got a union, a wedding, a marriage, a soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. Beautiful cards for um, Libra today. Anyway, guys, that is it for the air signs.